Every single time that I start a video, there always has to be a plane. Always something. What's up everybody and welcome back to another build breakdown. I've got an awesome gladiator to show you guys today. This is actually from one of our community partners, the Omaha Beef Arena football team. They are great partners to have. They bring us tons and tons of awesome vehicles to work on. And this one is by far one of the baddest ones that we've done for them. Our main goal with this Gladiator was to make sure that wherever this thing went, it made a statement. And that's exactly what this thing will do every single time that it shows up. We went ahead and started with a Skyjacker six inch kit on here. We did the Adventure Series ADX Reservoir shocks on it as well, paired with their dual stabilizer. So for tires and wheels, we decided to start with a set of 40 1350 17s. That is from Toyo with their Open Country MTs, one of our favorite MTs to run, wrapped around a set of Black Rhino Abrams in the gray finish. These 40s are the perfect fitment for this lift. Absolutely no clearance issues. You could still go out and wheel this thing if you really wanted to, even though this one probably will never be off-roaded. But if you wanted to, there's plenty of room in that wheel well to tuck a 40 up in there. To properly do this build with a set of 40s on here, it was only right that we went ahead and also did a gear set and a set of big brakes from Terraflex. Their Terraflex big brake kit really makes a big difference when it comes to the stopping power of these things, especially when you're running these oversized tires. For gears, we went ahead and did the Nitro gear set in the 538s. It's a little deep of a gear for this vehicle with the 40s, but the original idea was to go larger on the tires, so that's what we ended up with. On the front end, we went ahead and did a front bumper from Road Armor. It is their Stealth Series bumper with the large stinger. I think sets the tone on the front of this thing very well. We also paired it up with some Trail Effects products. It is their Reflex 9500 winch paired up with some LED pod lights, their new black series from Trail FX once again. So moving right down the side of the vehicle, you obviously start with the new set of fenders that are on here. These are from Road Armor and it's by far one of our favorite sets of fenders to run on a JL or JT. Being up this high, steps are an absolute necessity on these things. So we went ahead and added a set from Go Rhino. It's their E1 electric running boards. Fantastic option for the price, still a dual motor. I mean, really, they are just great overall working steps. Now, obviously, as you can see, some of the parts on here are parts that were on it already when it was brought to us, like the inner fenders and the rear bumper. These are from a brand called Wolfstorm. It's not a brand that we carry, not a brand that I often would keep on a vehicle. However, with the budget of this build, it was kind of necessary to go ahead and keep these, and they really don't look too terrible. Moving on to the back of this thing, you can see we added a few more things than usual on this Gladiator, starting with the Rugged Ridge Sport Rack. Such a simple option, very different than what you see on most Gladiators around here, and it's perfectly set up for the additional accessories that we added on the rack. For starters, we went ahead and added four Morimoto Big Banger LEDs on top of this rack. These are quickly becoming some of our favorite lights to run. The light output is absolutely amazing, honestly atrocious and the backlit option is one of the best on the market. And lastly, we decided to add something we haven't ever done on another build before. I've seen it on quite a few other builds, thought it would be different, especially since this is a marketing build and it's going to be out in front of the public all the time. So we teamed up with our guys over at In Phase Car Audio here in Omaha, and they hooked us up with some DS18 boat speakers that are mounted straight onto the rack with a switch right here under the rail. As you can see, these things light up orange as well, which is an absolute necessity when it comes to working with these guys. Gotta have some orange LEDs on it. But I think what I'm most impressed about is the sound quality. I mean, I've got my mic on obviously, but we're gonna stand over here by the camera. I mean, this is, I'm well behind the camera at this point. These are great, great audio sound amazing sitting behind this thing and it's only going to make that much more sense when they're in the arena or out in an event when they can actually play some music right through the bed of their truck and finally as you guys can see this thing is obviously wrapped that was done by our friends over at be seen signs out in gretna another community partner of ours 
and they always do a fantastic job on these wraps. They've been doing a ton for us and the beef, and this one turned out amazing. That is everything that I've got for this build breakdown. Thank you guys for watching once again. Let us know what your favorite part of this build was or what you would have done differently. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next video.